Welcome to Mona Tutorials. In this session, we're going to be looking at exporting a VRM using Uni VRM in Unity. First, we will look at importing your assets, then preparing your assets, exporting the VRM, and then an overview of the exported results. Let's jump in. Looking at the project that we've imported our Uni VRM asset into, uh, once again, this is not a Mona template. This is just a core project that we've made. So first up, I'm going to create a new folder. Let's say my VRMs. And in that one, I'm going to create a different folder called Caleb. Now, after that, I'm going to import the assets that I need for our character. So we have two, well, four textures total. So we put that there. Uh, we also need our FBX that we exported from Blender. So we'll drag that into there. Next, I'm going to quickly make some materials. Now you will note that sometimes your object may import the materials correctly, but I do find that for most control over your asset, you'll probably want to create your material in Unity anyway. So just drag your diffuse or color, your normal map. Uh, if you see this, make sure to fix it. Otherwise the normals will be incorrect. And you may have a metallic or and smoothness map, but in this case, I'm just gonna set this to point one. And then I'm going to duplicate that and do the same with the head textures. So once again, drag and drop, drop and fix. And we have point one as it's a copy. So we have our FBX, body, material, and textures. Next up, we can move over to our materials on the FBX and drag these onto that. That way our updated textures will be applied to our character. And then while we're here, we can go to rig and then change this to humanoid and then go apply. So once again, humanoid, and apply. Now this is very important in the VRM process. So it understands that it is a humanoid character and then it will assign the bones correctly uh, based on what in our case, Mixamo exported and with the correct bones and things like that. So we have all of our bones here. We have the ones here. I could have added eye bones if we needed to, a jaw if we wanted to use that eventually and our hand also has the correct amount of bones. If need be, it is possible to actually drag and drop uh, bones to different slots. You can use this if you were creating your own avatar or if there were mistakes in the bones. As this was just an example and not a full chain, I'm going to undo that. Now, things that have a dotted line are optional. Things that are solid are compulsory. So I could actually have character or rig with a hips and a spine but I don't need these bones here until I get to the head. So you have a bit of range and opportunities to play with the, the rig as you see fit. But if you've used the Mixamo approach, this is fine. You'll note that the scarf of our character, these are not in here and that's fine because we're gonna be using spring bones in order to make that animation. And this is not a base animation for the VRM. So once that's good, and once that's green, we can go back up here to scenes, and then we can drag this object into our space. If it's really small, you can just press F to focus on it. Once that's all done, you can then export the VRM. So selecting our asset, go to VRM zero, and go export to VRM. Now this will come up, and that's fine. We can make it a T-pose if it's not, but mine already is, so I don't have to worry about that. We can add a thumbnail for our character. Now, in that case, we actually need the biopic here. So I'm gonna close the export window first and then find a biopic image. Uh, usually you could do maybe 256 by 256. That should be a good enough resolution. So I can put that in there and close the window and export once again. Export to VRM. And now we can actually drag and drop this here. So we've got that. 
You don't have to worry about mesh, blend shape, or export settings for a Mona VRM, but if you want to use it in a different asset, you may need to look at those. I won't be covering those in this one. Then we just have to add all our information, such as title, version, author, contact information, and reference for your VRM asset. We can set uh, who can perform with this avatar, either just me, for example, or the author, any ex explicitly licensed person or everyone. We can allow or disallow violent acts. We can allow or disallow sexual acts. We can allow for commercial use or not. So I'm gonna say that no. And if you have any other permissions, you can add those here. And the last thing here is a license type. So if you wanna use these, you can certainly do that as well. Make sure to fill in any missing information, such as the author. I forgot to add that it is possible to change the language from Japanese to English up the top here. So let's go export. And say where we want to export it. So let's go to Caleb here. Now this is a VRM, so I'm actually going to name it correctly, which is Caleb Widow Gusts. Save. Okay, done. Now you could actually import that VRM to Mona but I'd like to import the asset so we can see what has actually happened. So for that, we need to go to VRM0 and import our asset. We also need to say where we're going to keep the prefab. So how are we going to name that? So let's put this in my VRMs and go Kilo Widow Gas Prefab. So it adds a lot of information that the VRM will use. Most of this we won't use in Mona, but in case you need it, we also have some blend shapes and things that we can use for more complicated VRMs if need be. Now, we call the prefab, which is this one, Caleb Widowgast. Note the solid blue box. This is the one we can drag into our scene. And that is our VRM. You can tell by the fact that it has extra information. So, our VRM meta, so all of the details that we put on, on export. Our animator, we have a few other things that we probably won't need anytime soon, but you could look into that once again if you're using other avatar systems such as VR chat or whatnot with blend shapes and look at and other things. So that's basically it for exporting a character with the UniVRM asset. Have a nice day and happy building!